I'll get started today. Uh. I demand to speak to the magistrate. The crime rate in this cesspool is it's unacceptable. How many I charge for this? Results as promised. Want to make the big creds? Need skills like mine. Need advice? I'm your guy. The Michispa? Mommy Dopey.
Kami cuba tang. Bon, on
yell at me. Let me. This make you proud. You fool the Republic into drowning you in honors while you fetch and heal for the Empire. Maybe you'll kill me, but not before I show the galaxy that you're a traitor. I'd hoped I was driving you crazy, but I never meant it literally. <laughs> Joke's on you! You're awfully trusting, Captain. A man helps you once so you can trust him forever. A woman gets selected so she'll be loyal to the office. See what your patrons are saying now. Once that idiot Captain takes out Rogan, the rest of the gangs will fall. We'll have the whole underworld locked up. Then the Void Wolf will keep his promise? When the Empire wins, I'll have a planet of my own? I never got to thank you for rescuing them from Rogan at Port Nowhere. 
I don't believe it. I never thought you'd survive the King's Ransom, but it was awful good-hearted of you to clear Rogan out my way. Thomas and Dadaman knew Rogan was getting close to the Void Wolf. That's why they set you on him. Now there's no one left to stand against me. There's still me and mine. What are you without my agents? Not a privateer. Not a crime lord. Everything you have, I gave you. He's put together a pirate fleet. The Republic expects an attack from outside, not from gangs within their borders. Chang, Desora, finish this off. You were duped. Doesn't raise my opinion of you, but it does put us on the same side. I'll get your back, you get mine. I don't trust you. But I don't think you're smart enough to do all this to trick me. Apparently it doesn't take that much. How touching. Too bad it ends here. I'm man enough to admit you saved my life. Guess that's worth a ship full of blasters. You win. I'm just glad all the good you did the Republic was real and not another setup. If we'd known the truth, maybe we could have teamed up sooner. Don't think this means I'll be giving the toast at your wedding or anything. Beyond you and me, the Void Wolf's got most of the galactic underworld working for him or running scared. He needs to go down, and I'm too old to do it. But I'll give you any weapons you need out of my personal vault. Thanks for the assist. I've still got some credibility in the underworld. If you didn't destroy it, I'm gonna rally who I can to aid the Republic. The Void Wolf's flagship is at Corellia. He was part of the plot to force its government to sell out to the Empire. My guess is Darmus and Dadana are with it. You want to chase them? I can put you in touch with Correo, a fence I work with. I'm glad I never managed to knock you off. Watch yourself on Corellia. The Void Wolf's tricked us both before. I don't know why you're looking at me. You're in charge.
My fighting style pretty much comes down to, I really don't like pain. They should make every Jedi kid spend time in a war zone. When you see what real Sith are like, it makes my blood run cold. And don't make any fish jokes there. I'm serious. It makes you see why the Jedi make such a big deal about not giving in to the dark side. Isn't don't give in to the dark side kind of Jedi School 101? I never thought I was the type. You know, like all Sith had to be these brooding sadistic puppet masters. But Master Lauren was right. The road to the dark side starts with things we all feel. Jealousy. Greed. They're all the seeds of it. I'd rather spend the rest of my life meditating on a cold rock than turn into that. I have learned more about the scum who betrayed my clan. Tiari Rook claims he has earned the title Mandalorian. But I heard nothing of him passing the trials of strength and courage required to join a clan. So your services as a Mandalorian? I have learned- But I heard- What does it take to be adopted as a Mandalorian? It is up to each clan. We do not care much for central authority. But no one would accept a new brother who had not shown his worth. I have called myself Mandalorian since I left my mother's side at age three to begin training. It is not easy to put that behind me. Most kids that age are mastering the toilet, not the blaster. Most kids are not Mandalorian. We start training for war when our bodies and minds are still elastic, to make what we learn a part of ourselves. I had a jetpack and blaster before I ever had a friend. Dara day, Jagisha day, Kotla Adalisha day, Kotla Shaya. Train your sons to be strong, but your daughters to be stronger. I do not presume to question your choice of crewmates, but I am curious. Why allow yourself to be surrounded by the weak? Only the Wookiee displays any strength of character. He understands honor. The rest are petty criminals. Cut the farm boy some slack. He's good in a fight. He even has a conscience. He is too weak of spirit to make hard choices. He will hesitate and fail you. One thing a Mandalorian never has to question is a clan mate's honor. I could always count on the strength of my fellow warriors. I always sleep lightly aboard your ship. Guess who found a potential accomplice in the Debrillian aristocracy? Feast your eyes on this hollow embossed, genuine flimsiplast invitation. See that fancy Arabesh lettering? Hand drawn, in ink, classy. Count Merritt Renald requests the favor of your presence at a discreet location in the Galactic Senate Tower on Coruscant at a time of your choosing. Coruscant? Why not Debrillian? Coruscant is neutral ground. Meeting at the Senate Tower? That's a gesture of respect. Count Reneld is one of the most popular nobles on Dubrillion. He's also secretly organizing a rebellion against the king. His invitation is addressed to Risha Dreyan, royal heir to the Dreyan dynasty. He's taking me very seriously. 
I didn't think you were broadcasting your true identity. I had no choice. Risha from Nar Shada doesn't carry the same weight as Risha the future queen. I'm contacting him by Hollow to arrange our meeting. Wanted you here to help me get a read on him. Opening a channel. Whoa. This is a tremendous moment, your royal heiress. I grew up hearing tales of the Draen dynasty, the great battles your ancestors fought. I never believed I'd meet a member of that proud bloodline in person. You have my deepest sympathies for your family's exile. Risha wants back into the brilliant politics. You can make that happen, right? You must be the starship captain who recovered the crown of Debrillion. My world is in your debt. The king wants that crown, and my head. He won't be happy if he finds out we're talking. The man has lost all reason. He must be removed from power, but in a way that spares our world a bloody civil war. I believe the common people and aristocracy alike would embrace the Draen dynasty heir, especially if she wears the crown of Debrillion. I doubt your current ruler will abdicate just because Risha has a better hat. The king's power base is already unstable. It will crumble under the right pressure. Right now, you are an outsider. The only way to change that is to marry someone from the existing aristocracy. Get married? To who? Well, <clears throat> the only available suitor is... <sighs> Great stars, this is awkward. I am offering myself in marriage to you. Risha already has a man in her life. Forgive me, I should have realized. Have you two joined? Uh, not exactly. No. Please understand, I do not desire to come between you. That said, the final choice should be yours. I understand my proposal is abrupt, but I wished to make my intentions clear and not waste your valuable time. I certainly don't expect an immediate response. All I ask is that you consider this for the good of the brilliant. That'll be easier to do once we've met in person. I'm on my way to Coruscant. See you there, Count. Well, that wasn't awkward at all. That was the worst blind date ever. You've known this guy all of two minutes and he proposes marriage? Crazy. This isn't romance, it's just politics. Under the circumstances, I should probably take this meeting alone. Be back soon, Captain. Never talked to a complete stranger for that long before. Count Rennell gives to charities, builds orphanages, creates wildlife preserves, and those are just his hobbies. You ever consider we've been wasting our lives? I knew it. He pulled every smooth maneuver in the flight manual. That's the thing. He wasn't smooth. He was actually kind of awkward. Stop being so paranoid. I told the Count I needed time to think about his proposal. That'll give me a chance to run a deep background check. If this guy is as good as he seems, he just might help me overthrow the King without getting married. Count Reneld is a man of his word. He sends me daily updates about his rebellion's progress. Incredibly sweet, beautifully written updates. I knew taking Debrillion's throne would be a challenge, but this is getting complicated. I'm not falling for him, but I might have to take this marriage proposal seriously. It's smart politics. If you think I'm letting some wealthy pretty boy come between us, guess again. Don't you get it? My whole future will be spent with wealthy pretty people. When I am queen, my days of racing the hyperlanes are over. Can you honestly see yourself settling down on Debrillion? I'll stop bothering you. I needed to talk, and you're the only person who understands me. Does your new boyfriend understand you like I do? Because if he doesn't, you should think about that. He's not my boyfriend. I'm sure there's trouble somewhere with our name on it. What do you say we go take all its credits? I can't hold off Count Renaud forever. I have to answer his marriage proposal someday. But I want to make an informed decision. I was hoping you could help me out with that. 
in private. I have a lot to say on the subject. I recommend we lock your door so our conversation isn't disturbed. You think of everything. That was a very persuasive argument. Sweetheart, this debate's just getting started. You've put some thought into this. I'm, uh, listening intently. You know, crowns and thrones aren't that great. I could maybe live without them. Or you could trade in this starship for a palace. What do you think? I can't, but I... Um. You... Sweet. You, you know, crown or you could trade in this. You're the only treasure I need. Everything else pales in comparison. I'm not done talking to you. Well, that was an enlightening discussion. I think I'm gonna have to disappoint the Count. But first, I need some rest. Let's talk again later. I remain the most advanced steward drawing in the galaxy.